Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. As we all know, the price of lithography machines is very expensive. The cheaper ones cost tens of millions, and the more expensive ones cost over 100 million. But recently, the world's lithography machine overlord ASML dropped a nuclear bomb, the second-generation high-NA EUV lithography machine EXE. 5200B was officially shipped. This top-notch equipment weighing 150 tons has refreshed the record of the most expensive lithography machine in history. The price of a single unit has reached 340 million US dollars, about 3 billion yuan per unit. Compared with the previous generation, the price has doubled. Since it has been shipped, is the first buyer still TSMC? The answer is no. The first buyer is Intel Corporation of the United States. TSMC and Samsung can only watch this time. So the question is, does China have a chance? The answer is still no. ASML has stated that since China is stuck by the United States, no matter how much money it has, it can't buy this world-leading lithography equipment. Behind this lithography machine war, it is not only a technological competition, but also a battle for global chip hegemony. How powerful is this machine? It is larger, more precise, has a higher resolution, and is more expensive. According to official sources, the behemoth, weighing 150 tons, requires up to 40 containers for transportation alone. And after being transported to the destination, it will take half a year to install and debug. The reason why Intel became the world's first buyer is that it took the lead as early as 2022. As we all know, Intel has fallen behind TSMC and Samsung in chip manufacturing technology. Coupled with the restrictions of the US ban, Intel's performance has plummeted and its operating conditions are worrying. At the same time, Intel has undertaken the important task of revitalizing the US chip manufacturing industry. Under multiple pressures, it has to find a shortcut. Therefore, getting this most expensive lithography machine in history first is a big gamble for Intel, and success or failure depends on this. According to Intel's plan, in 2027, this machine can be used to mass produce chips with 14A process, which is equivalent to 1.4 nanometers process. In 2028, large scale production will be achieved and performance will be improved by 20%. Intel CEO Pat Gelsinger even said, China will return to the top of chip manufacturing in 2025. It can be seen that Intel is still full of confidence in the future. But the question is, will TSMC and Samsung sit and wait for death? The answer is still no. It is undeniable that lithography machines occupy a very important position in the field of chip manufacturing, but with top-notch equipment and backward technology, can they succeed? This question needs to be marked with a big question mark. Logically speaking, TSMC, Samsung, and Intel all have the right of first refusal. Why don't TSMC and Samsung rush to buy this equipment? To be honest, the price of this equipment is too expensive. Even TSMC and Samsung did not choose to sell it easily. After all, the previous generation of equipment, coupled with process optimization and upgrades, can also achieve 2 nanometers, or even higher process effects. TSMC has the technology in hand and is not panicking at all. And what about Samsung? It focuses on the 2 nanometers high-end chip field. It spent a lot of money and spent 500 billion won on the EXE, 5000 lithography machine. This equipment can help Samsung surpass TSMC in the 2 nanometers market. It can be seen that these three chip manufacturing giants have their own plans and calculations, and the competition is still very fierce. As for why China can't buy it, the answer to this question still can't avoid the word ban. The EUV lithography machine purchased by SMIC before could not be delivered, 
let alone this top EUV lithography machine. To put it bluntly, the United States does not allow it to be sold, and no amount of money can buy it. As early as 2018, the United States had already cut off the supply of lithography machines to China. At first, ASML was only required to ban the export of EUV lithography machines to China. But in 2023, the ban was upgraded again, and even DUV lithography machines were restricted. The Netherlands also publicly stated that it was consistent with the US policy. As a Dutch company, ASML's attitude, whether helpless or voluntary, can only follow the rules. Although China cannot get the most advanced EUV lithography machine, ASML has not given up the Chinese market, but has tried every means not to violate the ban and continued to export to China. How many lithography machines did China buy in 2024? The answer is 7 billion euros, contributing about 36% of ASML's DUV lithography machine share. Some people may not understand that if they can't get the top equipment, is it useful to buy so many outdated equipment? This time the answer is yes. After China was stuck in the neck, it determined the two-step strategy of independent breakthrough plus mature process breakthrough. On the one hand, by purchasing DUV lithography machines for disassembly research, it accelerated the technological breakthrough of domestic lithography machines. On the other hand, it bet on the mature process field to increase the self-sufficiency rate of domestic mature process chips. Through several years of hard work, China has also reaped some results. In particular, mature processes are frantically expanding production. In 2024, China's chip exports will be 159.4 billion US dollars, an increase of 17.4%. The mature process capacity of SMIC and other manufacturers above 28 nanometers has become the world's first, surpassing TSMC. And Shanghai Microelectronics 28 nanometers DUV lithography machine is about to be mass produced. Although it cannot catch up with ASML in the short term, China is making money with mature processes and then using the money earned to invest in research and development which can form a virtuous circle. China must admit that there is a big technological gap between it and ASML, and the chip manufacturing level has also lagged behind a lot. But this lithography machine war has just begun. Whoever can master the next generation of technology will be able to control the chip hegemony in the next 10 years. For China, either breakthrough or be locked forever. It's a do-or-die battle, and there is no retreat.